Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. It's that time of week again where we paint over movie covered books because we hate movie covers on books and I think a lot of people feel the same way. So we are going to be painting over Bridgerton today. It's a Netflix drama that recently blew up and it's super popular and I think it just proves that we're all super thirsty for Regency dramas. I am particularly so happy that the Regency era is back in trend because I really like those kind of like historical dramas and <laughs> I just think they're really nice and like charming and just that era really says something to me. I'm even doing a little bit of a comic based around that era. Disclaimer, if you don't like me painting on these books I would just go away because it only gets worse from here. So today I will be using my jelly paints but also I'll be using my little dictionary of colours that I got for Christmas and it's super cute and it just gives me like loads of different colour combinations that I thought I would just try and expand my horizons a little bit here and change the way of my purples and blues and just try to do something a little bit different. For Bridgerton I thought it would be a really good idea to paint them with this pastel colours because I think it definitely suits the tone of the book. Also they decided um, in the show to sort of go with that colour scheme as well. Not that I'm trying to emulate that but I think it does uh, portray it quite well. The book is written by Julia Quinn and the Netflix show is written by Shonda Rhimes who also wrote Grey's Anatomy so I kind of like Grey's Anatomy. I think it went off the deep end a little bit but that's a whole other story. So to get this colour combination I've decided to use my jelly paints but I wanted to make my own little palette here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get my jelly paints and I'm going to mix up the colours that I want exactly and have an amount of that paint to use. Because I didn't want to keep mixing throughout and I thought it would be too much of a too much of a temptation to have the paints right there and to dip into a different colour. So I thought if I pre-mixed everything then I would only have those colours to use and if I desperately needed another colour I would have to get up and go and get it and yeah I think it would help me be more restrained with my colours. So I'm just trying to get together a little bit of a colour and all my jelly paints here are a little bit hard so I got these like cheap, I got a bag of popsicle sticks which were really cheap like one dollar one euro for a bag of like a hundred so I'm just going to use these popsicle sticks to stir them up instead of having to like do use one wash it use one wash it and it made it the whole process a lot more simple and a little bit bit fun bit of whimsy for you a little whimsy for your Saturday I don't know what I'm saying I'm so sorry and yeah so I'm mixing these up and uh just trying to get the right colors I kept making it way too dark or way too saturated and I realized that these pastels they're just like a sort of soft subtle lighter shade of white of this colour colour scream so it was a little bit difficult for me to wrap my head around because I'm used to having really deep vibrant colours and then I realised yeah you need to you need to chill out on the, the, the colours a little bit they're too contrasted I needed to add a lot of white so I got another jelly paint where I have a big pot of white and I used that to make these paints just uh, a little bit lighter, a little bit more fairy, a little bit more Bridgerton-esque, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just mixing all these up and I'm going to take these popsicle sticks and wash them later. So I was just putting them in water to like soak, realised that I was making more of a mess. So I just took them to the sink to wash later. Now this is the part that I hate and I think most people hate, but I'm using a nail file to kind of sand down the paper because there's a little bit of a like a shiny hint to this cover so it means the paint the paint won't stick very well to it if, if I don't get rid of it so I had to use a nail file because I don't have sandpaper and uh yeah let's just move on and I begin with the painting on the book it is a scary process everybody in the comments always tells me I want to do this but I'm too scared of ruining the book yeah same I <laughs> sometimes I have so much fear I'm like what if I just ruin this but I think you can always just paint over it again or remove it with a cloth. I think once you've done this task of uh, sandpapering it down, I think it's too late to turn back. I really got into this process of this one. I really had fun with it. It was so strange because I had a lot of pressure. I thought, oh my god, this, this book is really good and this show is really good. So if people are going to come and watch this, they're going to be offended if I do a bad job and you know, have all this pressure. But in the end, I just got really into it and I felt really like a vibe of being like sort of impressionistic and just going with it and making shapes and playing with the texture of the jelly gouache because it's so like thick I just left lumps of it there and then went back over it and just played with 
really like using textures and shapes and just block color in the beginning and I really enjoyed that process and it's something that I really enjoyed doing so it definitely help the process of this for me to get out of my head a little bit. To talk a little bit more about the book and the show, I did watch the show first because I had never heard of the book before and I really enjoyed the show. I really liked it. I thought there were moments where it went a little bit too far in the uh, like sexual way. I think it was like it could have reeled that in a little bit. I think it was it was good. It was sweet. There was some bits that I was like okay this is a bit cheesy but it's, it's no Pride and Prejudice, the original BBC series, but it's good. I enjoyed it and I think it's fun. And uh, the book is pretty much the same. It's the same story. I think all they did for the show is like give a lot of other characters a bit more plot because they needed to make an entire show out of it. And obviously it's not just about the main character and the Duke. It's, it's about like other people like Elle Louise, who is a big character in the book and Penelope and then there's also other side characters that they've made and have like a bigger plot for them which is good but I think the main story the book where we you know the original story in the in the series it seems like that's a stronger storyline than the side characters that they have like I'm genuinely not that interested in some of the side characters in the series but in the book they're not really mentioned so I feel like maybe they stretched it out a little bit too far but I don't know, I don't know, maybe it made it more enjoyable because when you got back to the main plot it was a bit more interesting. In the show I kind of found actually the Duke and uh, the main character, what's her name? <laughs> I've forgotten her name, Daphne, Daphne that's her name. Um, the Duke and the, and <laughs> Duke and the Daphne, Daphne and Duke I found like the story a little bit slow at towards the end of the show whereas in the book it's kind of like that's the main po plot point of the the whole book is that's them driving the story whereas in the show it's like and then you have the sister who doesn't want to get married and the brother who's in love with like a scandalous uh, opera singer and you know there's like different sidelines so yeah it, it was a good story I enjoyed it it's it's like the show it's nothing too deep but it's just fun and I think I tried to emulate that a little bit in the way that I painted it with just going with block shapes and just this woman with her bride dress on with her back turned to us and holding flowers behind her back just I thought it was very nice and I was very much in the mood of painting like a bouquet because I just recently bought well ordered my bouquet online for my wedding that I'm having this year which is just crazy to me and uh, having a little bit of a covid wedding so it's going to be really really small and uh, intimate but in the end I think it will be very nice so I was just in the mood to like paint flowers and I thought it was very nice it was kind of reflecting what I was thinking about so I felt very um drawn to this piece or attached to it and I do really like the way that it turned out in the end I used a, another color I used this like darker shade of blue just because I thought it balanced out the whole color scheme of the the um, image because I thought there wasn't enough darkness to it like even though it's supposed to be a pastel piece I thought it just needed that little pop of blue to make things stand out a little bit then I went in with a pencil just a colored dark uh, black pencil just to define certain areas and of course using a very loose loose style um, just really like dragging the pencil around feeling for the texture and just trying to hint at certain shapes and I think it really works well I like the style a lot um I know it's not probably to everyone's taste because not everyone really likes impressionism everyone likes realism in some senses when I'm painting on a book but I think this one I just really like it and I don't I don't know I don't know what do you guys think do you like it do you like the style I just think it's nice. I really like a loose style. I think it's just enjoyable to paint as well. It's just nice and free and interesting and your eye is always drawn to something else and it's just like blocks of colour. I just, I can't describe it, but I think I really enjoy pieces that look like that. I really, for instance, if I was to buy a painting, I would buy something like this that was a bit more impressionistic because then realism, because I just enjoy it more generally and it's my book so uh, there you go <laughs> that's pretty much it I finished it off by just taking the paper off and the washi tape off the side and that's pretty much the final look of the piece let me know what you guys think I really liked it in the end and I think it looks good I I like the yellow in the back and yeah the outline of her just holding the flowers and I think it's really pretty is that can I say that I think it's pretty yeah I really like the colour scheme, I'm glad I went with this pastel soft scheme, it's 
really something that's worked out and I'm really enjoying using my color dictionary and I hope that you guys will stick around to see me use it a little bit more in the future because I will be and if you subscribe then you will uh, see that <laughs> did you like my little um, segue into that please subscribe huh huh yeah anyway I don't really ask for many likes and stuff like that but if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up because it really helps um like push the, the video to other people who might not have seen it and if you interact in the comments it really helps so if you could do that it would be a massive favor for me and um, thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope that you like this book cover paint over um i really enjoyed this one and there will be more book cover paint overs in the future because i just ordered a load of books and i'm really interested to keep on reading with you all if you want to join my reading book club we have a book club over on my patreon and i would just like to thank my patrons they are Keely, Lamon, Luzernia, Jordan, Luke, Ilera, Hannah, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Heidi, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot. Bye.